Hey guys, in this video we're gonna create a game of rock, paper, scissors using JavaScript. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright then everybody, in this video we're going to be creating a game of rock, paper, scissors. We'll be using HTML elements, JavaScript code, and styling with CSS. Let's head to our HTML document. I'll create a div section to contain our game. Div ID equals, I'll name this game div. We'll close it. I'll create three labels, one for the player, the computer, and the result, who won. These will be h1 header tags. I'll give each of these header tags a class. Class equals game text. I'll give the first h1 header tag a unique ID of player text. The second header tag will be computer text. Third will be result text. The first h1 header tag will have this initial text. Player colon space, then computer colon space, result colon space. Let's add three buttons for rock, paper, scissors. Button, close it. Each of these buttons will have a class. Class equals choice button. We'll need three buttons, add some text, rock, paper, scissors. That's everything for now. Let's head to our JavaScript file. Let's select all of the elements that we'll need. We'll begin with the player text. Const player text equals document dot Query selector, we are selecting an ID. That ID was player text. We'll select the computer text, const computer text. The ID was computer text. We'll select the result text, const result text. The ID was result text. Then we will select all of the buttons. Const choice buttons equals document dot query selector all. We are selecting the choice button class. We'll create three variables. Let player to store the player's choice. Let computer for the computer's random choice. Let result to display who won. We'll iterate over our choice buttons using the for each method. Choice buttons for each. We'll use an arrow function expression. For each button within our choice buttons array, we will use an arrow function. I'm going to add an event listener to each of these buttons within the arrow function expression. Button dot add event listener. The event is click. When we click on a button, we're going to do something. Within the add event listener, we'll add a second arrow function expression. There are no arguments. Arrow. Then we're going to do a bunch of stuff. So let's expand this. When we click on a button, what are we going to do? Let's take our player. This is our player's choice. Set this equal to whatever button we select and get the text content. If we click on this rock button, then our player variable contains this string, rock. Same thing goes with paper and scissors if we select those. Then we will invoke the computer's turn computer turn function. We'll need to declare this function. Outside of our for each method, 
let's declare this computer turn function. Function computer turn. We'll select a random number between one and three. Const rand number equals math dot floor. We'll need a random number math dot random method. There's only three choices. We'll multiply this by three, then add one. This will give us a random number between one and three. We can examine this random number with a switch. Switch, rand number. We'll find any matching cases. Case one, computer will equal the string rock then break. Case two, computer equals paper. Case three, computer equals scissors. And that's it for the computer turn function. The player variable will be assigned a string as well as the computer. Next, what we'll need to do is set the text with our choices. Player text dot text content equals I'll use a template literal player colon space I'll add a placeholder player let's do the same thing with computer computer text text content computer computer then the results text Results text dot text content. We will set this equal to invoke a check winner function. We'll need to define this function. Let's do that after the computer turn function. Function check winner. First, we'll compare if our player and computer strings are the same. If player is equal to computer we will return a value. This will be a string. Draw. It's a tie. Else if computer is equal to rock, I'm going to return, then use the ternary operator. Our condition is if player is equal to paper, question mark. If the computer is equal to rock, is the player equal to paper? If so, then we will return a string. You win. If this condition is false, we'll return a different string. You lose. Okay, let's create another else if statement. Else if computer is equal to paper and the player is equal to scissors. Add another else if statement, else if the computer is equal to scissors and the player is equal to rock. And that should be it. Let's test it. Okay, rock, it's a draw. Paper, you lose. Scissors, you win. All right, so that is the logic of our game. Hey, for fun, let's style this using CSS. Let's begin with our game development. That surrounds our game. Let's take this ID. We will style game div. It's an ID. I'll set the font family to brush script MT. If my web browser can't display this font, I'll have a fallback of cursive. I'll add a border, border, three pixels solid all around the corners border radius 25 pixels that's better but let's add some padding padding 10 pixels is good I'll add a background color background dash color maybe a light gray I'll align the text in the center. 
text, align, center. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's select these buttons. They all have the same class. That class is choice button. I like to add classes at the top. Choice button class. Let's change the align height to 30 pixels. Then set a width because all of these buttons have different widths to accommodate the text. I would like them all to be uniform. Width of 150 pixels is good. Uh, let's expand this a little bit. There. Let's select our player text. ID, player text. I'll change the color of the text. Color, pick a color. I'll be blue. Let's do the same thing with computer text. ID, computer text. I think the computer should be red. Okay, let's try this one last time. Rock, paper, scissors. Well, all right, everybody. That is a basic game of rock, paper, scissors for beginners. If you would like a copy of my JavaScript code, as well as the HTML and the CSS markup, I'll post all of this in the comments section down below and pin it to the top. Be sure to check underneath the original video in the playlist. But yeah, that is a basic game of rock, paper, scissors using JavaScript.